Hi guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to Andrea's Attic. This is an adult channel that focuses predominantly on ho hobbies, <coughs> excuse me, such as photography, reading, and um, adult colouring. So mostly we do a lot of adult colouring, which is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing another colouring chat. We're going to be colouring this picture, which is in both um, Jewelry Box and the Dreamtime special by Hannah Carlson from Colouring Heaven. This is the newest show. It's not even out until Wednesday, but as a subscriber, I do get it early. And what I was thinking was, it would be nice to see how these Hannah Carlson pictures appeared if we used markers. So obviously, if you're doing her book, you would use mostly pencils or watercolours because they are double-sided. But of course, Colour in Heaven magazine is single-sided pages. So I haven't used the Arteza Evelyn markers in one of these books yet. But I am going to start now to see how it goes down on, on the paper. I'm not going to use the chisel. I just want to have a look at it. So. Um, at the moment it's looking fine. So this is sun and moon, so it's like a twins but opposite twins, so one's sun and one's moon, so one's day and one's night. Okay. And, uh, so we're going to just put some marker down first and Excuse me, wheezing a little bit. My ass was playing up today. And then we're going to do some gel pens, some glitter gel pens on the stars and things like that. And the sun and the moon. And the stars on her face and the stars in the sky. And then what we might do is do a, a deep blue acrylic background. Too far, this is going down all right. I do love these pens. I'm going to be using these a lot. I'm not going to lie, they're probably not going to last you that long. <laughs> How are we all? What are we all colouring today? I know I'm a bit cheeky doing this, but why not? I've been dying to get my hands on it so since, well, since he took out the subscription and then when I saw what it was in the sneak peek, I just could not wait to get my grubby little paws on it. And I was at the hairdressers and I was looking at Facebook and everybody was saying that their copy had dropped and I was like, ah, I wonder if mine's there. And my post comes quite late, so I wasn't too worried. And then Paul, I was messaging Paul to see how Jennifer was because obviously he looks after her when I'm out having my hair cut. And I never asked about it and we were just having a chat and then he suddenly dropped it in. Oh, Colouring Heaven's here. So, because I, I knew I was going to open it on camera, which I did, you would have seen that yesterday. Although I'm filming this the same day as I filmed that. Um, it, I did not open it as you know I opened it literally the plastic came off on camera because I wanted to do it like that I wanted you to see how I would react to it when it first came and that's exactly what you saw now I'm not worrying about going over her hair with these pink these uh, light skin tones because I know 
but it'll be alright. I'm going to try and avoid the stars though because I'm going to give her You know, I'm going to be colouring her hair in at some point. It's not going to make a lot of difference. At all. So because this is the night one, she's going to be a little bit darker. their faces first so some of the decorations around their hair and on their faces will be done with glitter pens harder to colour in because it's um, she's got a lot coming out of her hair so I've had a good few sales on eBay this week so I've got I had one on Thursday, one on Friday, and I've had two today. So I've got four to post so far. I haven't done anything since Thursday on eBay other than sending offers. Just because I like to have a few days off over the weekend and then I really focus on it in the week. I mean, today I had my hair cut. And probably what I'll do is, although I have got some clothing to list, I've got a load of games that I can get listed as well. They're personal sales rather than business sales, but just by getting them ready to list, it'll add something to my account and it'll promote it through the algorithm, the Cassini algorithm. Still very pink so I'm not going to put any more on this one though I might go over the I mean this bit is that's it that's a bit better a bit more even there I might get the blender pen on it in a minute she's got an ear I'm happy with the sales I've had this weekend. I've not had a huge amount of sales, but it's still better than nothing. You know, I'm really happy. I'm in profit. I've got to order some uh, bags for clothing, um, but that's not over expensive. So 
so it's not really going to hurt the profits much. It will take a bit out of them. But it won't be so much that I can't cope with it, you know? It's not going to... It's not going to uh, put me out of profit in any way, shape or form, so... I'm just going to go over this like this, blend it in a bit. So, <coughs> so at the moment you can see... I don't know if you can see, oh, it's gone out of focus, hang on. Just under there, it looks a bit grubby. Around there. And that's just because... You can see the... Um, number underneath the next one yes that's going better there we go okay so that'll do for face for now i might put some pencil over it i've never tried that i might not that seems to have taken a lot of it off actually so i'm just going to pop that back in there it's made it look a bit patchy I don't mind though. I'm still really trying to practice with these, so. So I'm going to give the Nighttime Girl blonde hair and the Nighttime, sorry, the Nighttime Girl blonde hair and the, the Daytime Girl dark brown hair or grey and black hair I haven't decided yet so but let's find some nice yellows for blonde so I think we're going to be going with maybe yellow ochre and honey I can find them I just have to the look Honey. What's this one? Gosh, that is so bright I can't even see what it's written on it. That's amber. So yellow ochre must be this one. Sometimes it's quite hard. Oh I haven't put that one back. I've put the blender one in its place. That's alright. I get quite confused sometimes with this stuff, I will admit. So the lighter colour is mm, honey. So we'll just do it in strands. Remember like I did the other one and it was fine. So I'm just going to do like a few bits at a time. I just didn't want it being white blonde, even though she's like the moon, but I wanted it to be. I mean, it looks very dark at the moment, but it's actually a really nice colour. So what I'll do with this is I'll actually As you see, I don't talk when I'm concentrating. Because I would make a lot more mistakes if I was not concentrating properly. too much if I go over the, the edges again like I said because we'll probably do a pink background of deep blue or some sort of a dark colour and then I know I'll have to figure it out 
won't be tonight though. I've been dying to get to this one since I saw it and obviously wanting to get to your first book in a subscription so I'm glad I haven't had to wait until Wednesday because I wouldn't have got it Wednesday it would have been Sunday at the very earliest unless I went into town and then if they've got it in W Smith which sometimes they have them and sometimes they're a bit behind I would obviously I would have obviously picked it up a bit. So I've just got a little bit of dark there. I really like this book. I, mean, I like Hannah Carlson anyway, but to have the chance to work in something like markers in it is absolutely fantastic because I like it very much. It's a lovely book. the way that you did get this sort of blending marker with it. As you see I've missed a strand there and I'll go back and do that in a minute. To the moment Jennifer is still mad on CBBs and she's driving me insane. With it, I've got to be honest. I mean, I won't let her have a tablet, she's too young, and I don't want to have one for a bit anyway. She doesn't need one, so it just means oops, that I've got to put up with watching CBeebies for a while. And but sometimes she's a bit funny, so like this evening. We were watching it and it was it was closed down, which is fair enough. And she suddenly went absolutely mad because she wanted to watch something, but she did not know what she wanted to watch. So it drove me up the wall. Excuse me, I'm just trying to put this back in that. Not easy to get them in sometimes. Um, she did not know what she wanted to watch. And it drove me round the bend. Um, another one. No, is it this one? Yeah. Um, just completely drove me round the bend, she did. And, um, one. Excuse me, leaning across. I know, I know. There we go. She, I mean, I love her to bits, and I always will. But when she's just wants to watch something, and she's moaning because there's nothing on, and you've turned it off, 
And then you say, well, what do you want to watch? Do you want to watch this? And she's like, no, no, no. And you go through every single CBeebies program and it's a no for every single one. And I'm like, really? Well, don't moan then when there's nothing on. But she's only two, well, she's not quite two yet. She's two at the end of the month. So I do get that she doesn't really know what she wants, but she gets upset when what she it wants isn't on, but she can't actually tell me what it is that she does want. Because I was saying, do you want this? Do you want this? And she was going, no, no, no. And then she'd say, yes, and I'd put it on, and she'd go, no, no, no. And I'd be like, really? You just said you did. So, yeah, there you go. So again, even though I'm going over the lines on some of these dangly bits, they will be done with a glitter gel pen. So I'm not too worried about that. I'll try not to cover it, but if it does, it does. I'm just doing this bit like this. Just to get past the um, thing. And we're actually going to go over, over it with black. I don't know why, I just thought that's what colour I want to do it. So that's what colour I'm doing it. Just go around that little hole. Well, it's a, sort of a, it'll be a sparkly thing, like a sun or a star thing. Funny how she's got one, two, three suns, but she's only got one moon, but she's got stars, I suppose, so. I'm just gonna cover up that circle. I'll know it's there and I'll be able to find it next back. So yeah, it's quite dark this purple. It's actually called violet, but on this on this paper it looks really dark. Especially if you put more than one layer on. Going up here. And the problem with CBBs is right, they have songs, don't they? in everything and then you're forever hearing the songs like from Molly and Mac they sing the same song every episode or two songs I have an idea is one of them and oops oh no is the other one and you just keep hearing it over and over and over and over again and I gotta be honest it's driving me up the wall there you go. So the nighttime girl's got a lovely light colour hair and the daytime girl's got purple hair, she's got violet hair. So I'm trying out some of the colours that we didn't use in um, Women's Girls at Work because I, I can't, I want to use some different colours, see what they're like other than on the swatch obviously. I like, I do, do like these markers. I really like these markers. I think they're well worth the price. I mean, okay, you can say, yes, they're not as good as Copics, I guess, but I've not got any, so I can't compare them. And I will probably never own Copics, unless somebody really lovely buys them for me, because I can't justify the cost having a, a small child. I was in two minds as to whether I get these. It's only because they were on offer such a good price that I did. Um, but because of um, 
that, you know. Nice bit more done. Right, so just put a bit of black on here. Just there. True. And I'm gonna find myself singing. I got an I have an idea in a minute if I'm not careful. So I'm just running the blend pen over it just to try and blend that in a bit. Obviously, because I'm using it on such a dark colour, I'm going to have to try and wipe it off in a bit because obviously it's going pink. It's not going as bad as I thought it would. And I think if I just. Yep, that's it. I just I've just rubbed it on a, a dry wet wipe and it's fine. I like these. This colour purple is really nice, this violet. Like I said, even if I, I don't like it at the end, it's not the end of the world, I've still got the picture in my Hannah Carlson book, which I can redo in pencils. And I did say... Um, in my flip through of this book that that's the one I was going to do next anyway. I was planning on doing one from Jewelry Box. I was actually planning on doing this picture with pencils. I think I was going to use the Doom and Ink Tents. So we might still do that, but it'll be at a different, a different time, so. Like I said again, I'm not worried about going out of the lines because I'm probably going to do a acrylic black background or an acrylic background like I did in the other colour in heaven one we did, which was the dark fantasy book. And when I finished everything else. So obviously I'm not deliberately going to go out of the lines, but if I go out of the lines, it's not the end of the world. Like that. I'm just going to put a little bit of black through her hair now. You can barely see any of the lines because the purple is so dark. So I am literally just putting some wavy lines back in. And even that is seeping into this violet in places and you can't really see it. Get the blender. That's the wrong end. I keep doing that. Yeah, I should know which end is which. I have missed a streak of hair. I'm going to go and get that in a minute. There we go. So it's light and dark. Let me just take that off. Done. And I'll do this little streak of hair that I've missed. That's lovely. Like that. <coughs> and what I'm going to do in a sec is I'm going to go and get my drink. And of course my gel pens for the next part of this colour in heaven book so I won't be a sec okay I've got my gel pens I'm back and I'm just gonna do their eyes first of all so the night lady's gonna have a very very pale blue eye it looks darker than it is and then we've got a darker blue for the day lady and I still haven't done their eyebrows either so we'll just put that in. Okay, and 
Um, and I'll just do their eyebrows um, the same shade of brown. And I'm just grabbing any brown. Any brown. Just to do their eyebrows. And I'll do the same with their lips in a minute. Uh, any brown. That goes back in. And then we want some sort of nice red. I think we'll go with this one. No, that's a crimson red. Yeah, that'll do. So we'll just put a bit on her lip there. Can you see that? Yes, yeah, good. So I won't be able to do this much longer because Paul's on his way home. Um, so I'm going to have to stop soon because, uh, yeah, imagine. So that's that. We've got my, I've got my gel pens now, so I'm just going to find out the colours I want. So I'm just going to stop you while I find them, okay? Okay, so I've got the most colours I'm going to be using. We'll start with the lady on the right hand side, the, uh, the night one, we're going to use a silver for the moon. I think I'll use the link shine. <coughs> Just because I like the way that these really cover silvery. So what are you colouring? I haven't been chatting much, I know, but what have you been all up to? You coloured anything really exciting lately? Have you got any good books? Any new books that you think I should get? I, I like I said, I'm not really into the. That's Paul messaging me again. Um, <clears throat> the anime and stuff like that. So that sort of stuff doesn't interest me. I said that the old book here and there I would pick up, but. Not very often. Yeah, we'll do this one. This one I seem to have lost the top for, so let's hope it lasts. <laughs> if not, I've got plenty of other yellows, so. This one of the ones I'm trying to use up anyway. Um, I do love watching colouring book hauls. I'm not really into colour by number either. I used to be when I was a kid. But I'm not really into that now because I don't like the way that all the lines show through. I don't mind lines on this, but the lines are sort of like chunky on those. And I just don't see the point in spending a fortune on all these brilliant colouring art supplies and then colouring just paint by numbers or colour by numbers and stuff like that. The odd one here and there, yeah, it's cool. Um, but I think I, I, I like to stick with the, uh, I won't say proper colouring, but the uh, colouring books like this and that, you know, so at the moment they don't know when if Hannah Carlson's book's coming out in English, it's only coming out in a native language, I believe, or something like that. Um, there's a different publisher. It's going to be slightly smaller than the ones we've got, the ones she's already published from what I understand. But it's also going to be the same sort of brilliant stuff. It's going to be smaller because of <coughs> she's finding it difficult keeping up with the workload of, of trying to do so many which I totally can get. I totally understand that. I really do, bless her. She works so hard and these images are stunning. So, you can't see what I'm doing, can you? I'm hopeless at this sometimes. 
it's because I can't really see what I'm doing. I have to look up at the screen to make sure everything's in focus. That's why I still gotta look for a tripod um, or a, I'm thinking like a, a stand thing. Might be worth investing in one of those um, stands you clamp to the thing and it overdoes it. That's what I'm thinking of getting. Uh, I think it'll be easier. I can phone. I can film on my phone then. Not that I mind. I quite like filming on my DSLR. I love my DSLR for filming. Uh, but it might work out easier for me to. Just do it on my um, phone. And then I'd, I'd, it'd be easy because I'd be able to have it right in front of me. I'll be able to see hopefully exactly what I'm doing you know I don't know I might not it's something I need to look into um yes it is something I need to look into trying to get right that's that <clears throat> but uh going to be quite a long one I think although we won't be doing it for much longer because obviously with Paul coming home I'm going to need to to stop fairly soon as long as I know which pens I'm using it's fine Oh, you have to excuse me sniffling away. Terrible, terrible sniffles. Like I said, even though it has gone out of it, it doesn't really matter. Dear me, I've got a bit of a frog. So I'll just do these three sons and I think I'll call it a day there. Otherwise, we're not going to have anything to do in the next video. And I'll be searching for another book. So. At the moment, I've only got two colouring books for my haul. And this is one of them. <clears throat> and obviously the Everblend markers and I got some more link shine so really not a lot so whether or not I'll do one in January I don't know I might have to leave it to February you know the only reason I would do one is because I actually want to colour it in the other book which you haven't seen yet and I don't really want to colour in it so I'm showing it to you but you never know, I might order a few more yet I might do anyway I'm going to leave it there let's have a look at what we've got so far so there we go we've got the sun and the moon Ladies, I'm going to keep that one out. I'm going to keep that one out later. I know I want that gold, and then the other things will just be various ones. Um, and that one we'll need. And that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick colour and chat using the new colour in heaven from uh, Hannah Carlson, which is called Dream Time. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what you think. If you've got any ideas for any books you think I should get, I do make a note of them and I might pick them up in the next month or so or next month if I don't get them this month. Uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I do appreciate each and every one of you and thank you if you're new to the channel and you've managed to stick it out this long. And hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video, which is fairly regularly these days, which I'm really pleased about. I'll see you all in the next colour and chat. Bye, guys.